What's going on my friends, it's C3P here and we are going to record a full song with the Blue Snowball microphone. Um, by full song, I mean like everything. We're gonna record um, a drum set, uh, we're gonna record electric guitars, acoustic guitars, uh, piano, vocals, um, a tambourine, um, we're gonna record a little bit of mandolin, so like everything with this microphone. Um, we're gonna hear everything step by step, and then at the end of the video, um, I'm going to combine all the instruments and we'll hear a little clip of the song itself, and then I will mix and master the song, and we're, we're gonna hear a little clip of that so you can see what the potential is with this microphone. I should quickly note that this is the Blue Snowball Ice, not the Blue Snowball. They are identical as far as recording quality goes, so this review will honestly be telling you what the Snowball and the Snowball Ice sound like because they sound exactly the same. Okay, for the drums, I like to put the microphone basically in the midst of the entire drum kit, just above the shell of the kick drum, kind of towards my knee, um, facing the snare drum, facing the hi-hats, and I think it does a pretty good job of capturing the, the full in-your-face sound of my drum set. Okay, now for acoustic guitars, I place the microphone just a couple of inches in front of the 12th fret or so, um, but the microphone itself is facing the uh, sound hole of the acoustic guitar. I think it's just a pretty good balance of picking up some of the bass frequencies and some of the higher crisp frequencies. <laughs> Now for the electric guitar, I'm actually recording in my closet because it's isolated, it doesn't pick up the sound of my guitar pick hitting the strings, and it also avoids a lot of the reverberation and echoes of my room. So it's a really, I would recommend recording your guitars in a closet if you um, happen to have a closet and you're recording on a budget. Now for the piano, I've only recorded piano a handful of times, and so with this microphone I experimented with a few different mic placements and ended up liking uh, this position the most where the microphone was basically directly above where the keys hit the strings. Yeah, so let's hear it. And for the vocals, I'm going back to the closet to record because it just does a really good job with all the clothes hanging up in there. I kind of made my own little sound booth and it works really well. The leaf turned red, but not red enough. For green kept red in its way, and in the dust. And it feels like I forgot everything. It feels like we forgot everything. Okay, that's enough singing. And because I don't actually have a bass guitar, what I did was record my electric guitar on a clean setting, just played a bass part, and then on my software, I tuned it down a full octave 
to make it sound like a bass guitar. Now let's hear like a 30 second clip or so of all those instruments put together to make a song. Again, this is not mixed at all. No effects applied or anything. I've just adjusted the volumes and the panning to make it sound um, as balanced as I could. I'll be honest, it kind of blew me away with how good the quality is. Again, this microphone's like 50 bucks. Well, yeah, it's like a 50 or $60 microphone. So outstanding quality. Um, I fully recommend it. If you're on a budget, get this microphone, try it out. Now to end the video, let's hear that clip again, just a smaller portion of that clip to refresh our ears and then it will go immediately into the mixed and mastered version. So I've applied EQ, compression, reverb, some delays and echoes, and a little bit of mastering stuff uh, to make it sound um, as good as I could so that we can hear the contrast and hear the full potential of this microphone. Thanks for watching.